Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2022 Volkswagen Atlas SEL V6 4 Motion. This particular one is platinum gray metallic on the exterior with Titan black leatherette bench seats. It features LED running lights, adaptive front steering for those headlights, LED headlights, also poor weather lights, remote start, power lift gate, keyless entry on all four doors, lane assist, adaptive cruise control, panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade. This one will also have uh, crossbars, base carrier bars I should say, added. I'll make a video of the car when that's done. It does have a bumper dillo on the back bumper right here. This chrome strip right across the back of the bumper here uh, to protect against scratches. Also, trailer hitch with the seven pin adapter right there, 5,000 pound tow hitch there. It says Atlas right below the Volkswagen logo here. And it says SEL V6 off to the left and four motion off to the right, right here. And dual faux exhaust tips at the back here, trimmed out in chrome. Let's look at those silver roof rails. The nice bold line down the side from the tail lights over the wheel arch, under the door handles, into the wheel arch again, and into the headlights there. Very nice. Let's take a look inside. Now this unit is sold already, but uh, it was ordered for a gentleman uh, who uh, is going to pick it up next week. We we're going to add some things to it. Um, but this is how it came from the factory and we'll add the stuff on and then I'll make a video again uh, Wood grain interior right here on the door panel. It continues across the dash over to the other side there into the door panel uh, You do have this flat silver finish around that wood grain and it also continues into the vents and across to the other side into the door panel And then you also have this quartzite gray with the premium stitch here and the quartzite gray is also on the arm pad here Your switches and knobs are all trimmed out in silver right here and you know, your power lift gate is down here. Here's a look at those seats. As I said, this is a bench seat setup. So what I'll end up doing, as you can see, the factory sent the carrier bars in the box and they're kind of bulky. So they're taking up some space here, but here's half a bench down. Uh, but that gives you an idea with that box right there, the rear seat is folded down and this 40% this, uh, seat over here is folded down as well. It's a 60-40 split. So you get an idea. There's a look at the uh, leatherette trim here with the premium uh, the contrast stitch right here on the arm pad and then also on the bolster here up the sides behind the shoulders and also into the headrest. It's a manually adjusted headrest. There are your um, memory seats there. Lumbar support is power right here. Forward back up and down is handled here and seat back is handled here. We'll go ahead and climb in here but once I go back to the back there I'll end up pausing the video and moving that stuff out of the way and then we'll go on with the video here. Here's your digital cluster right here. You have three main views here. I'm gonna put nav on so you can see it a little better. We'll put the nav on the center display here. So that's gonna show up here. So now you have your dial screen. You also have the wide screen and then the crop screen. And you can change what kind of data is showing in these sections here uh, through the radio. There's a look at the nice flat dash. There's the sold sign, this car's actually sold. I'll take that down so you can kind of get an idea. Nice flat dash there, storage bin right here, and then also there's a speaker up here. Now this one does have automatic headlights. They all do, they come with automatic headlights. Those all weather lights, you just pull out on that guy there, they replace fogs. And then this guy lights up, that activates the all weather lights. Then you do also have a coin box for storage right here. And as I said, a flat bottom leather wrapped steering wheel here. There's a splash of piano black down here at the base. The flat silver spokes here your cruise control is here your travel assist is right here uh, following distance for cruise control is here and then you also have the view button here which allows you to change that guy there so i'm going to change that back to the widescreen that's my favorite uh, you do have a heated steering wheel as well so you've got the button for it right here um, over here it's an am fm and satellite radio and it has gesture control. As long as that hand's showing there, you kind of put your hand in front to wake it up. It will go away, you'll see it disappear in a second. And I just wake it up with my hand there. I have gesture control, so I can actually wave my hand in front, and now it's not doing it. I promise you, it does do it. And now it's not. 
Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can prime it a little. Well, no, it's not doing it. There it goes. Oh, it finally did it. So anyway, it does do it. I promise. There we go. And do one finger. It seemed to like that better. Okay, so there's 36 presets there. It doesn't matter what frequency you're on. All 36 are married together. Um, then you do also have App Connect, which allows you to do Android Auto, Apple CarPlay, or Mirror Link right here on the system wirelessly. So when you hook up your USB, uh, all you have to do, you're, you're prompted to do Android or uh, Apple CarPlay at that point. You do also have wireless charging down here. This is a wireless charge pad here. Um, and then also there's two USB-C connections right here and here. And then also over here on this side, there is a 12 volt charger port right there. So uh, the backup camera on this guy, pretty fantastic here. There is your backup camera there. Uh, you have trajectory steering, you turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right and it moves accordingly for that yellow line and then the green line signifies straight back and the red line signifies where your bumper is. Uh, you do also have heated seats on this one. So you have a heated seat for the driver and passenger, dual sides, and there's a dual zone climate zone up front. You can also hit the menu button here and bring it up on the screen here. And if you love fingerprints, you can adjust it on the screen here. So I can lower my temperature here and I can also adjust the fan speed, raise and lower it. And also for the rear controls, I can do the same here. So I can raise the fan speed back there or lower it. Um, now, there is also air care on this guy. Air care is your air filtration system where it's actually going to scrub the air before it circulates it in a cabin. But your windows and sunroof have to all be closed. This little blue line here is going to expand to cover the cabin to let you know it's progress there. Um, now, also, all of your buttons here for climate control, max defrost, your rear defrost, the rest button. The rest button is going to circulate air, continue to circulate heated or cooled air in the car while you go into a restaurant or um, grocery store or something like that uh, while you're gone. Now it's not actually cooling the air. Don't expect to come back to a nice cool car like the AC was running the whole time. That's not what this does. It just circulates the remaining air in the system on whatever you were running while you're gone if you're going in a store very quickly to come back. Um, you do also have the sync button here where you can pair them up max AC right here um, over here in the glove box there's your manuals right there and uh, your car seat protectors the car seat clip protectors here if you're using a car seat um, also your tire warranties are all right here down here oh, I knocked off that little lanyard there um, there's a look at your um, door inset there with the uh, the uh, quartzite gray and the premium stitch there lots of storage for bottles or cups you also have it on this side as well. And then you have your power lift gate right here. So I can lift up on this guy right here, open the rear hatch, and then I can lift up and hold. The key is to lift up and hold, and it closes that rear hatch as well. Here's a look at those seats. I'll move this stuff out of the way here. These are heated seats here for both driver and passenger. This seat over here is a power seat as well. Uh, this is the first trim level where you get a power seat in the Atlas on a passenger side. There's a look at the headrest, adjustable seat belt there. You do also get one of these guys right here. This is an adapter to take your USB-C back to a USB-A. Uh, and that is kept in a glove box there. Storage in here. You do have a USB-C connection right here. And lots of storage in here. There's a drop-in safe you can put in here as well. So this USB-C gives you three USB-Cs up front. You do have a cup holder light here for the cup holder as well. And then over here you do have this knob here, which uh, you can shift to all-wheel drive on the fly. Snow mode. Then your roadway mode. You've got eco, normal, sport, and custom. And if you like saving on fingerprints, you can push this button here to do the same thing without leaving fingerprints. Very nice. And then you also have uh, off-road and an off-road custom. And off-road custom is going to allow you to tweak different aspects of the system here. Uh, you have light assist as well. That's your automatic high beams and low beams. Of course, the adaptive cruise control. Steering can be sport or normal. Park assist is going to be on or off. And then hill start assist on or off. Um, and then all-wheel drive system. You can change between off-road and normal. So uh, you have all kinds of tweaks that you can do there. You do also have a regular mirror in this one, not an auto dimming home link mirror, uh, but you do also have a panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade. Very nice. 
and a power sunroof there. That sunroof opens up, that pane of glass stacks on top of that one, and you get a pop-up windscreen right here. The glass is also tinted, so you can see it's pretty well tinted there. And then as we close that, very nice. And you can leave the sunshade open if you choose. You do have Carnet on this car too. That's your roadside assistance and emergency services. And um, those are all right here. So you have three little buttons right here. Uh, the green light tells you they're active. Up above here, there's a vanity mirror. And up above it, there's an LED light there. And you do also have one on this side as well. Let's take a look at the second row seats and then I'll end up pausing the video at some point there to uh, put the seat up and get that, that base carrier bar out. So this one's priced at $47,485. The extras on this one include $385 for the roof rack or base carrier bars, it's a set of two, $325 for the monster mats and $160 bucks for the bumper, tilt, bumper dillo rear protection plate, bringing it at $47,485. As we look back here in the back seat, here's a look at that bench seat there. It's a 60-40 split. There's a magazine pocket right here. And right now I have well over a foot of knee space behind this seat. I was just sitting in that seat, easily a foot here. But I can lift up on this bar here underneath. There's my Star Wars socks. You can see those. Pretty cool. Uh, there's a little bar underneath right here I can lift up. Slide the seat forward and back. That's probably a little closer than I would sit. But there you go. I have that 60-40 split there. As I move that forward, you can see that. So I still have I still have space here. The seat is sculpted to protect my knees here. But I do still have space here even with the seat this close. And it's pretty close to the guy here. And you're not going to need it this close just to give someone room in the back seat. It's just not necessary. Um, also, you have vents right here. And you have... Your climate control right here you can control fan speed and also temperature here down below i'm going to move this seat back a little bit here because i'm kind of up too close to this guy there's a look at the usb-c connections there and also a three-prong plug-in right there you do have a sunshade built in right here you have that on each side one over there as well and before i put these seats up i want you to take a look at this here this seat is folded down that seat is folded down and that box continues all the way to the rear hatch and it's easily a foot inside the hatch there but you can see how much space you have for cargo here there's a seat belt clip over there in use to keep it from getting snagged on this cargo here and you have luggage tie down luggage net tie downs right there and also storage for cups or what have you back there and then there's a recessed portion there if you're going to use the privacy cover um sculpted headliner there for your rear passengers as well that seat right there the headrest flips up at the flick of a wrist there and the seat sits pretty high off the ground there i don't know if i can get that in the camera here it sits pretty high off the floor so you're not going to have knees in your chest and there's a look at that box back there again so at this point oh there's a fold down armrest right here squishy yet firm two car seat hookups here and here and then there's also one under this seat here so at this point, I'm going to pause the video so you can see that. But before I do that, there's a look at the giant panoramic sunroof that goes overhead, covers all of your passengers in the front two rows, the center console and the instrument cluster there, and the armrest right there. So I'm going to pause the video for a second, put the seat up, and take this box out so we can see the rest of it. Okay, so I put the seat up here, and they're not quite even here. They're 60-40 split. There's a look at that seat up. I'm going to move this seat back so they're even. There you go. Car seat hookups there, car seat hookups here, and then also here. And there's that armrest folding down right there. Squishy yet firm. And there's a look over the top at the seats there. So I'll step out and show you how the seat works here. This little handle right here, lift up, seat pitches forward, the bottom drops out. This entire section of seat moves forward. So if you have a front, a front facing booster seat that's strapped in, you don't have to remove either one of them, either one of the two, to get access to the third row you have it right here so in this case if you truly need a seven seater and you don't have to have captain's chairs this is going to work this is designed so you don't need captain's chairs there is a look at the back seats how high they sit off the floor steel reinforcing plate all the way across this guy same with that seat there and those two seats back there that's to protect in the event of any cargo back there in a rear impact crash coming forward and injuring people in the seat to lift this seat up or to move this seat back you lift on the front section the seat clicks in place 
and you have the bar underneath to slide it back into place. There you go. Notice how, how shallow the transmission hump is. It is only three inches deep. That way you have maximum leg room and headroom in the cabin here. It's designed that way. The engine is in the engine bay lower, sits lower for a lower center of gravity. So we look at the, uh, the alloy wheel here, it's a 20 inch alloy wheel. And that lower center of gravity gives it a tighter turning radius. Very nice. Now here's a look over the top. Seven seats. There's a look up at your panoramic sunroof. Two seats in the front, three seats in the middle, two seats in the back. Steel reinforcing plate back here as well. And if I fold these seats down, just like that, you have that much more space there. Here's a look at the cargo blocks right here. The uh, monster mats here as well. Underneath the, the cargo protection system here or the carpet here. There's a look at your spare tire underneath this guy here. You just release this guy, pull out the carpeted floor, and your spare is right there. You do also have a recessed bag hook right here on this side. Also a trunk light recessed over here. And also over here with a 12 volt charger port right there. C pillar vents here and here for your rear passengers. And there's a look at your power lift gate right there. And there's the box that was just in the car there. This car comes with a four year, 50,000 mile bumper to bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. That includes two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000 mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me a Bomberito St. Peter's, remember there's two Bomberitos in St. Louis, two Bomberito Volkswagens, and I'm at Bomberito St. Peter's. Don't get it mixed up. I'm at Bomberito St. Peter's. I will give you a third year free maintenance as well as a 10 year, 200,000 mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. You can fly in and drive out. I'm right under the flight path to Lambert International Airport. So if you're interested in buying a car like this one, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook at Reese Sells Cars. Remember, fly in, drive out. I can pick you up at the airport. Oh, and we're not marking our cars up. No market adjustments. Uh, no uh, addendums, none of those things. Just MSRP and a $399 admin fee. That's it. Give me a call, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.